resume reader, Crowsong, and today I will be reading to you from Take Two by Mirio Wright. Now, on to Chapter 16. It's been so long. Is this the right place? The Russian checked his phone multiple times to make sure he had the right address. He rung the doorbell and adjusted his mask. A few seconds later, a familiar head peeked through the door slit. Hey, you made it! I was wondering if you'd even show up. America smiled at him and opened the door, gesturing for him to enter. Russia paused in front of the door for quite a while without moving. What's wrong? America noticed and asked in curiosity. Russia seemed to snap back to reality. Nothing, he muttered and slowly entered, seeming a little reluctant. Russia analyzed the room. It wasn't huge or small, but it was enough for one person to live in. The place was quite cozy, and it seemed like the American was satisfied with his current home. Is this your only apartment, or do you have more houses? Russia asked offhandedly. Hmm, well, I do have more than this one. But this one is my favorite. It's not extravagant as the others, but I'm content with what I have here. America was honestly finding an excuse to hang out with Russia. He wasn't really serious about helping him practice the script, but if Russia wanted to do that, he wouldn't mind at all. There were music sheets scattered across the table in a disorganized fashion. It's messy. America pouted. Hey, hey now, I'm not the most organized person in the world when it comes to creating my music. The Russian's eyes sparkled, but America wasn't paying attention. You're making a new song? Mm-hmm. Still working on it, though. It's supposed to be a surprise for my fans. Do you want to take a listen? Russia hurriedly replied. No. America blinked a few times. That's mean. I didn't know you hated my music this much. Makes me sad. He said in a dramatically joking manner. I want it to be a surprise as well. The Russian muttered in a volume that was hard to perceive. What was that? America turned around to face him and raised an eyebrow. I didn't say anything. America shrugged it off, thinking he started hallucinating due to too much music making for today. Oh, okay. My mistake, then. That reminds me, I have a concert in a few days. Do you want to go? I'll give you free tickets if you want. America smiled at him in anticipation, hoping that he'd be interested in going. The Russian was completely speechless for a second, completely silent. This made the shorter male a little anxious that he was going to reject. Come on, it's just one concert. I want you to see me live singing for once. I don't trust my song editors not to auto-tune my voice. He chuckled a little with a smile on his face. Well, okay then, I guess. He finally spoke. America was overjoyed for some reason. A bright and cheery smile appeared on his face. Russia's lips curved into a smile at the sight, but he quickly turned away before the other noticed. One of the only complaints I have with my concerts is that my manager insists on bringing me there on the minibus. Buses make me sick, so I generally like to sit at the front. Bringing me there on the bus is so unnecessary. America complained. 
The Russian found his little tangent quite adorable as he balled his fists and waved his hands around. Then black lines appeared on the American's forehead. My manager doesn't agree with me inviting random people to my concerts. I'm probably going to get scolded later by her, but whatever. A mischievous grin appeared on his face. Russia blurted out, You don't have to give me a free ticket to your concert if it'll get you in trouble. America was stunned for a second before smiling again. So you do care for me after all. That's nice to know. I just don't want you to waste your time when you argue with your manager. The Russian replied. It sounded like an excuse, and America noticed that. The American found it sweet. It turns out the Russian was just cold on the outside, but a nice person on the inside. America sighed. Well, I still want you to go. Don't worry about what my manager says. I'll deal with her when the time comes. He continued. I'll send you the digital ticket later today. I'm planning on announcing my new song later at the end of the concert. Russia raised an eyebrow. You're really hyping them up, huh? Anyways, how's your script memorization going? I've already got half of it down. America pulled out a small book that was the script of the movie. You're very fast. You must have a good memory. Well, not really. Everyone says my memory is shitty sometimes. When I'm doing movies and singing songs, I'm a genius. But when it comes to everyday stuff, I'm a total idiot. Russia asked again. Why do they say you're a genius when singing? Because your voice is nice? Nah, people say it because I can sing any genre perfectly. Jazz, pop, opera, rap, rock, and much more. You name it, I can sing it. America said nonchalantly, like it was nothing. Inwardly, Russia thought it was very impressive to be able to sing all of those genres perfectly as well. Can you sing? America asked the Russian curiously. He thought for a second. Ya domo, eto prinichu. No eto net tak horosho. Kagwen yu fine. That roughly translates to I think it's decent, but not as good as you are singing. What? I don't understand. Translate, please. America whined, pulling on his sleeve in a begging manner. Russia turned his head away without another word. America stared at him with puppy dog eyes, but Russia wasn't even looking at him anymore. His head was turned away with one hand covering his mouth. In the end, America could only give up dejectedly since the taller male didn't seem like he wanted to answer. They continued to talk for the rest of the day, completely forgetting about the original purpose of the Russian's visit in the first place. The Russian smiled. Eto provadano. Etakni. That roughly translates to... It's been long, hasn't it? And that's the end of this episode, and I hope you really enjoyed it, because I did. I would like to apologize for any mispronunciations. I really don't like grabbing the text-to-speech bots. I I really want to say anything in the stuff myself, so I try my best. And I, and I hope you guys enjoy that, but if I can't say it, I do have to get one of the text-to-speech bots and... I I um don't like it. But that being said, I would like to invite you guys to join us on the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. 
That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.